Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, yeah, a puzzle, a puzzle which had no title um, today. Um, this is apparently very approachable. So Rohit Jangid sent us this. Um, it's the first puzzle he's created and uh, he asked if we were interested in trying it out. We're gonna give it a go because I understand that it is very approachable. Give it a try on the link under the video. This is a good introductory puzzle, I reckon. If you, if you want to get used to the sort of variant Sudoku that's a bit different from the classic Sudoku you see in the papers, but that we do every day. This one is kind of an introduction to thermos mainly. Um, and I'll we'll go through the rules in a minute. Now, on our latest app, Line Sudoku, we very recently um, updated the app with... January's update, which had a number of new puzzles in it. Now, puzzle number 54 had a problem. Um, and I'm sorry if you've been beating your head against a brick wall trying to solve it. There is meant to be um, a stated King's Move restriction in it. We have now, today, had an update um, accepted on the various platforms. And if you would update your app, you will therefore get the correct rules to Puzzle 54. So um, apologies to Codec and to you especially for that. Uh, do update your Line Sudoku app and make sure, make sure you have the set of puzzles that include number 54 and that it has the right rules in it. Uh, that matters. Um, Codec himself ran a simulation to see how many possible solutions there would be without the King's Move restriction and it was a wide, vast number. So my sincere apologies. Um, let's see, what else have we got? I'm not going to apologize for the errors I've made in recent puzzles because I've had to unwind them while solving those puzzles and fix them. So that doesn't deserve an apology. Um, I'm going to just talk about the fact that on Patreon we have Rift Clowns Interactions. That is a great set of puzzles. Uh, the compliments coming in via the Google form are just wonderful and entirely deserved. Uh, thank you to Rift Clown for allowing us to showcase that on Patreon and give it a go if you haven't already done that. Join us on Patreon if you haven't already done that. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that because that helps our algorithm, please. Um, anyway, there's also, of course, all of, well, I've mentioned the Lion Sudoku app. There's all the other apps as well. They include Thermo Sudoku, Domino Sudoku and Killer Sudoku, just like in this puzzle. Um, and they're all available on the links under the video, along with Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise. But the first link is to this very approachable My First Puzzle by Rohit Jangid. And the rules are as follows. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. So we'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box. Numbers increase from the bulb to the end of thermometers. So we must go up as we go each step along a thermometer. Um, cages show their sums. So the sum of this cage is 15. An X joins two cells that sum to 10 and a V joins two cells that sum to five. So it's a very pretty visually symmetric puzzle here. Give it a try on the link under the video. I am gonna start now, see what we've got. Let's get cracking. I think I omitted that phrase recently and somebody thought I suffered karma as a result. Oh, well, a seven cage is one, two, four, and we know the order thanks to the thermo. Um, and yes, we get some symmetrical action on that. We've got the same in the top corner. One, two, three for the, ooh, and that's three in the corner, proving its position instantly. Um, that will be the only three in the corner in this puzzle, but thank you, Rohit. Um, now we don't know what goes on on the ends of those thermos, so we will move. We will move here, because this thermo begins with a number that is not one, two, or three, but it has five steps after that number of increase. So it must start with a four, and we can just fill it in. Gorgeous. No need to good lift these thermos. You can just do them. Now this one. Well, it can't be a five, that would be too high. So the number must, which sees one, two, and four, of course, must be a three. Then after that, ah, I was gonna write four and five in this cell, but we have a five over there. So four is the only possibility. After that, not so clear cut, five or six 
then six or seven, then it gets easier again because I was going to write seven or eight as the candidates, but look, eight is looking down the grid at this. So this really is quite approachable so far. Only that last cell of that thermo is in doubt, having just considered those four thermos and their cages so far. So that really is a good start for us. Um, we've got a 15 cage here. That is going to contain the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you know that if you know your triangular numbers because the triangular number for five digits is a total of 15. That is the minimum total if you add up five different digits. So, this one can't be five or four. This one, oh, five and four are in fact these two because of this five, four X-wing going on there. So, that's a five, four pair. This is a one, two, three, triple. These cells, the other cells in the box are from six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, these two C, six and nine, and we know their order thanks to the thermo. So this really does trip along quite straightforwardly so far. Now, this V can't have a four on it. There's two ways to make up a V, four and one, that's not allowed anymore. So it's two and three, four, five, six. So we get... In the rest of this box, we have one, seven, eight, and nine to fill in. Over here, this is either a one, nine, or a two, eight, X. Hmm, this is slowing me down. Now, so let's try up here. What about on this thermo? Because this digit sees one, two, three, four. It is at least five. Six, I was going to write six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, nine, but I can take out the candidates that are just seen across the grid. Once that can't be eight, this can't be seven. And we need a five in this column, and it can't be in this box, so actually we know where that goes. Um, this digit must be that one. I'm not going to colour it. Oh, nine is now looking down at the end of that six cell thermo. Eight, seven, there's a six in one of those cells. There's a nine in one of those. Don't know what to do with that. Let's do this thermo. Again, five is the minimum starting digit here. So let's put in five, six, seven, six, not seven, eight, seven, eight, nine there. And we've got a 789 triple in the column. So this is 5 and 6. 6, 6. There is a 6 here, but there is also a 5 still to go in the box. 1, 2, 3, 9, 5. These are from 4, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8. This one is 1, 2, or 3. And it's slowed down a bit now. We've got, ah, there's an 8-9 pair in row 4. So that's a 1. And this is where 2 goes in the row. That fixes this X as a 1-9 pair. We get an 8 there. Left with a 7-9 pair in this box. Actually, no, the 9 has sorted them out. So this is really, this is very approachable. Of the very approachable puzzles we've done recently, this may be the veriest. 7 there, that's an 8, that's a 9, this is a 7. 1, 2, 4, 8, 5. Right, these are from 3, 6, 7, 9, given the numbers they can see in their box and row. But this can't be 9 by Sudoku, so by vertical, verticalness. So we're down to very few candidates there, and one of them is a 6. We know that, again, by Sudoku. This is now two or three. It sees a one there and a four there. The other of two or three is also in those, those cells. Um, oh, I'm running out of straightforward things. Nine, nine, that can't be nine now because of that. So we stick a nine in here. That's where it has to go in box eight. Nine, eight, seven, six. And again, we have one, two, three, four, five to place. 
I don't know, should that be obvious? Ah, oh, this is a 9-5 pair, actually. In fact, there's only one place for 9 in box 9 at all, given the position of these. So that goes in. Then 5 has to be here. And now in this column, that can't be 2. We've got 1, 3, 6, 8 to place, and there's only one cell for the 8. That gives us 8 in the top row on a thermo. That doesn't give us 8 in column 2, unfortunately. These are from 2, 3, 4 by virtue of Sudoku, everything else they see in the grid. This must be less than that, so it's 1 or 3. Um, these, mm, I don't know, again, I was planning not to pencil mark those, but I've done it in full now. It's, that's not necessarily a 1, 2, 3, 4 quad. There's a 9 in box 1. That might be the last 9 in the grid. 8, 9, 6, 2, 3. So the 5 in this column is there. Then this is a 1, 4, 7 triple that I can't actually complete yet. But that must be quite helpful in determining what these are. They're from 2, 3, 8. And these are 4, 6, 7. I know which one has to be the 7 by Sudoku. Okay, into the top row. Oh, why did I pencil mark that as a one when I had that three in the corner at the very start? Just poor technique, you could say. Uh, two, four, and six in the remaining cells. One, five, seven, eight, nine. We need a two in one of those cells. Interesting, the crunch in this puzzle is at the end of it. Most unexpected. Right, that's where 5 goes in box 8. That's not a 5, so that's not a 4 on the thermo. Um, this is not a 4. Yeah, that's quite interesting in a way. It means one of these two is where 4 goes in box 8. And that means that's not a 4. So that sorts out our triple there. And then with the ones, we can place one in box eight now. Uh, that's a two, three pair, so we can finish this row. Six, seven, we need a three and an eight in column seven, uh, sorry, in box nine. They are in column seven, but that wasn't how I got them. That's a two, four, six, triple. This is a three, that fixes the bulb. It makes it a one. That stops that being a one. That probably is the last one in the grid, therefore. Still got some two threes to sort out. In fact, that tells me that I'm looking for five in this top box, in box two. So it's got to go there. That sorts out the four, five pair in the middle box. They can't have a four in now. I think we must have all the fives done. One, five, seven, three in this box is in one of those. That's fairly clear. Two, three, eight. That's, that's the only place left for four in box eight. You actually do have to take all of these steps. Right, that two, six pair is going to be very helpful. I think we're going to finish off now. But this has been very well put together because it did not just collapse, or even after a very approachable start. Uh, so that is good work. Now, this column, no, oh, two six are resolved by the six I have. So the two is going to fix all my two threes. I can definitely finish now. Three, two, just two boxes to go. That can't be a three. In fact, this is an eye wing. This is the last digit in its row or column. Three, eight, two, eight, and three. And that is a quick time, just Ten and a half minutes there, um, and that was with a lot of explaining along the way as well. So let me know how you did. I am sure. Actually, let me just like the puzzle as the first of first finisher of it in this form. That's quite good uh, to be the first hundred percent likes for the finishers of this puzzle at this point. And uh, there we go. I hope. Tell me how you got on um, and whether. It was finally pleasing to you to be able to finish a puzzle, which often happens for some people. Um, but 
That's nice. Thank you, Rohit, for sending it. And we wish you luck with your future constructions. Um, we'll be back with you with more Sudoku tomorrow. And until then, thank you very much for watching. And bye for now.